tech giant Huawei is exhibiting at Intertech 2019, taking place from the 20th to the 22nd of January, Dubai International Convention and Exhibition Centre. They are the exclusive artificial intelligence partner of the three-day event. And I have with me today Walid Goma, the Vice President, Data Centre and Cloud Solutions, Middle East Enterprise Group, Huawei. Thank you very much uh, for joining us today, of course. Huawei as well, they're very well known for the consumer division. Um, perhaps uh, the Middle East, uh, well, the Enterprise Business Group is another whole large division at the group. Just tell us a little bit about uh, that part of the business. So, so um, Huawei has three main business groups. Uh, probably the, the two of them are, you know, like very well known from a consumer perspective as an example, where they, you know, Huawei position the tablets and mobile phones. The second division or group is called the carrier group, which is responsible for providing uh, solutions for the telecommunication uh, customers uh, in the region. And the third group is the enterprise business group, which is responsible for providing solutions for enterprise customers uh, in the region. And that's what we're here for today, actually, aren't we? We're here today at uh, your uh, research and development lab at uh, Dubai uh, Media Center. Um, it's uh, quite an impressive location here. Tell us what we've got going on. Yeah, so this is, uh, we call it Open Lab, which is uh, where we have a showcase. We are showcasing our solutions uh, along with our partners uh, around different uh, areas. So if a customer wants to come and, and as an example, see uh, how we are implementing, as if you can see in the background, there's a command, you know, command center, intelligent command center. So we can show them how can we implement a a intelligent command center. Uh, then we have different types of solutions for education, for oil and gas. Uh, so the purpose of this is actually showcase the infrastructure and platforms for Huawei, as well as uh, helping our partners to showcase also their solutions. Uh, we also help customers if they want to test on applications, then we can do testing of applications in, in, in the open lab. Uh, if we need to certify certain solutions also, we use the same uh, open lab infrastructure to do that. Now we have a small data center also in, in, in this facility. Uh, so we provide the infrastructure for them to be able to uh, showcase their solution as partners and also to be able to demonstrate to our partners how can you know the uh, uh, solution look like uh, as, as an end solution. Mm. When we talk about uh, data center and data storage, um, um, and we're talking about cloud in particular, um, just how secure is the cloud uh, for clients when they're storing their data and, and, and sharing data? Actually, if you look into this, uh, as you know, there are multiple ways of, of, of storing data in, in, in what we call cloud. So we start from a private cloud. This is most of our customers are looking into building a private cloud. This is the first thing, which is, it's a private cloud owned by a customer. This is where it's secured, right? and it's managed by, by customers. Uh, then we have um, what we call it public cloud. And the public cloud can be really public cloud or what we call them in-country cloud. So we started to see some of the cloud provider bringing their infrastructure in-country to ensure that they are following the regulations and compliance for certain countries, yeah? Uh, so, so it becomes the, the choice, right, of a customer, uh, depending on the policies that they have in the, in the organization, depending on the compliance factors, depending on the country requirements where you actually store the data, whether it's going to be in a, in a public cloud or in-country cloud, or you're going to put it in a private cloud. Uh, some of our customers end up having what they call it hybrid cloud, which means some of the data will be stored in their private cloud, and some of the, their data will be stored in in-country cloud or a public cloud. So you can have different implementations uh, f from this. And from a security perspective, uh, of course, it, it all depends on the SLAs that you get from the provider. Uh, the most secure one, of course, would be the private cloud because you own the infrastructure, you own the cloud. Um, then you can have the in-country cloud where the, you know, the, the cloud provider are bringing the data uh, and making sure that the data stays in the country and bringing the infrastructure and making sure that the data stays in the country. And then you have the public cloud, which is the, 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 you know, the data stored in the data center for the provider across the world. Mm. And, and what tends to be the sort of the trends here uh, in the UAE, the GCC, wider Middle East when it comes to cloud storage? Uh, where are we heading? What, what are clients asking for? Uh, where is the future going? It depends on the, on the industry. So, so some of the industries are, yeah, are, you know, because of the nature of the business, they, they said that we are not going to use public cloud implementation. Uh, however, we start to see some of other customers using the you know, in-country cloud or public cloud for certain uh, usages. 
you know, as an, as an example, a platform as a service where they are developing applications. And instead of developing their applications on their private cloud, they use the public cloud or in-country cloud for developing applications. So it, it really depends on the industry uh, and, and the type of data that you're going to store. If it's a, you know, it's like you're storing, um, you know, media, uh, which is publicly accessed, probably you want to put this on a, on a public cloud rather than putting it on, on a private cloud. Um, it's quite evident that when we're here, when we're looking around um, your lab here at Dubai Media City, um, there's a lot of different sort of industry verticals you're targeting, um, obviously education being one, oil and gas another, uh, critical communications, police and so on. Um, where are the opportunities, uh, where do you see the future opportunities when it comes to v various verticals, industry verticals uh, for enterprise solutions at Huawei? Yeah, the, the, I would say that the, 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 the main industry that we're working in is the government, of course. Uh, uh, so, so this is where you know, we see most of the uh, interaction now. Uh, and the reason is that you can see in the reason there are multiple visions. You know, it's like you know, the UE vision uh, 2021, uh, UE uh, AI vision for 2031, uh, Saudi vision 2030. So these are the different visions that we have in the region that would require digital transformation to happen in, at the customer side, right? Mm -hmm. So this is where you, know, you, you see in, in multiple uh, requirements coming out of, of the government customers, right? To be able to, to do digital transformation, to be able to meet the, you know, the requirement for the vision within, within the country. So this is the first vertical, I would say, government is a key, uh, is a key one. Um, the second one is transportation. You can see that around the around the region, are lots of uh, activities around transportation. You know, like uh, metro, like uh, you know, uh, airports and so on. So, so this is a, a key industry for us as well that we see lots of development uh, from a solution perspective and digital transformation perspective. Banking has been always uh, at, at one of the industries that is leading digital transformation, and uh, you know, uh, because of uh, competition uh, and, and how they want to attract customers to be their customers and how to provide different types of intelligent services for customers. So this is also uh, a, a key industry. Education, you know, uh, uh, across the region now you can see multiple initiatives around enhancing the, uh, the, the learning and enhancing the, uh, how education is, is being handled within a country. Uh, right. Uh, so I would say that uh, hospitality, you know, because you know, lots of constructions around around the region. So hospitality becomes a key industry for us also to focus on. So, so basically, every industry is important. Uh, yeah, every every country, yeah, every every industry is is, is important. Um, however, the digital transformation is pushing everyone to act fast, and this is where we started to see acceleration from a digital development. And of course, um, when it comes to infrastructure, what. Well, uh, transport, uh, aviation, hospitality, even retail as well. Adding to that, Dubai Expo 2020 is coming up. Um, you know, mega events such as this happening in the region. Uh, I guess that also all feeds into that kind of digital digital transformation um, and and what you do as well. Absolutely. That's why I said uh, if if you look, there are some countries leading. Uh, of course, UAE is is, is is leading country when it comes to digital transformation and uh, you know future thinking uh, from Dubai 10x uh, into the, you know the very vision for artificial intelligence. So I would say you know UAE in general is, is is leading the pack when it comes to digital transformation. However, there are other countries as well. We you know we start you know we started to see that uh, you know lots of development happening in Saudi. You know, they've just announced the largest budget in, 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 in the history. Uh, of course, this will come with requirements from, for digital transformation. Uh, what's happening in the region is, is impacting the, the requirement for digital transformation infrastructure for that as well. Okay. Um, Huawei is the exclusive artificial intelligence partner at Intersec 2019, and uh, the company will also be delivering a presentation at the Intersec Future Security Summit early next year about artificial intelligence. Um, Everything about artificial intelligence is sort of revolves around what you do at uh, the uh, enterprise business group level at Huawei. Um, what are the latest developments in artificial intelligence in Huawei, and just how important is it uh, for your operations moving forward? So uh, Huawei announced in, in, in October this year uh, during the you know Huawei Connect the Huawei strategy for artificial intelligence, where we are saying that you know, we are going to put lots and lots of focus on artificial intelligence and providing innovative solutions to help our customer to accelerate digital transformation. 
So this is it is becoming a, a, a mandate within uh, our you know organization now to make sure that we have solutions around the artificial intelligent architecture. So we we announced that we have a strategy for artificial intelligence, where you know helping customer to accelerate the digital transformation is a key, and we do that on different layers, right? So we do that on what we call the device layer, where we are bringing artificial intelligence into the device. And uh, like cameras, like of course mobile was the first thing to be introduced, but you know we have this also in cameras where we are implementing artificial intelligent chips inside our cameras. And for that matter, any uh, IoT device that can, you know, ha they can have um, the ability to integrate with an artificial intelligent uh, chip. So that's why we are bringing this artificial intelligence into the device. The second thing is we're, we're bringing the artificial intelligence into the edge of the network where most of the you know, computation now is happening at the edge of the network. Not everything happening at the data center. There are some computation that will be required to happen at the edge of the network. So that's why we're bringing also uh, artificial intelligence devices that can be installed at the edge uh, of the network. And the third layer is the cloud layer. We're bringing artificial intelligence into the cloud layer. We're bringing that into intelligent communication, uh, and intelligent computing, and uh, you know, cloud uh, enabled uh, AI solution. So, so we're bringing this into the three different layers, and that's helping customer. You know, as as, as you can see, in, in in whatever they want to do, they want to do this on a device level. They want to do that on an edge level. You want to do that on a cloud and data center level. We are helping customer uh, to do that, and we are calling it actually a full stack. You know, uh, solution. When we say full stack, means that. We are not only providing the chip, but also we are providing the development environment for the chip, where a customer can develop or partner can develop solutions and applications for the chip itself to run on a certain device. Then we're bringing that also on the infrastructure, where we are bringing a, a platform for uh, partners and customers to develop applications as an application not only for the device, but applications like, you know, can be cloud applications, can be enterprise applications. So we're bringing the framework for customers to develop applications. Then we are working with our partners to bring ready-made applications to be used by the customer. So this is the full stack, you know, starting all the way from the chip itself into the development around the chip, into the framework, into the application developed by our third-party uh, partners to have solutions around the AI components. Yeah. Intersect 2019, um, I understand it's your second time exhibiting at the show. Um, what can visitors expect to see from Huawei? The first thing is that we are bringing, again, the artificial intelligence into this. So the, where we'll, what we'll be exhibiting a, a artificial intelligence enabled camera. So you will have a camera, you'll be able to see a camera which has an AI chip in it. And this AI chip enables the camera to capture, you know, uh, video and pictures and then they can recognize faces it can it can recognize faces it can recognize many faces at the same time it can process so many pictures and images and uh, videos at the same time right uh, in the camera itself without going to uh, the back-end applications or the data centers so you will accelerate lots of uh, features you know uh, required by the customer when it comes to facial recognition uh, in audio, sorry, video audio, uh, recognition or picture recognition, you'll be able to do that on the uh, camera itself. So this is the first thing: is we're bringing an AI-enabled camera uh, uh, as, a, as a device. Then we're bringing also uh, uh, the cloud, uh, so video cloud solution, where we customers can run applications on a, on a cloud. And we have two different versions of that. They have the light one, which can run on the edge, and also we have another one that can run on uh, the uh, data center uh, at the data center of the customer. So we're bringing, the, you know, the device, as I said, again, and the cloud, uh, whether being live version on the on the edge or the full version on the data center. Then we're going to show that you know uh, we how to preserve customer investment, where we are saying our solutions are open to integrate with you know other software components, as an example. So in that case, if a customer has already invested in certain uh, infrastructure and solution, then you know we can complement that. So we will be showing the open uh, interface, how how easy that you can interface with our solution, and how open the interfaces are based on open standards. Right. And then the last thing we'll be showing uh, uh, is going to be uh, the uh, third-party solutions from our partners. 
uh, around the different industries that we talked about. So, uh, so these are the four things that uh, you know, visitors can expect from Huawei in the, uh, during Intersec. I'm sure you've uh, already sent out your invitations to your key clients and, and uh, target uh, uh, partners and, and integrators that you would potentially like to meet at Intersec. Um, if there is not a particular group that you haven't met at the show and you would like to meet, who would that be? I would, I would say it's an industry thing, so we'd like to see more customers around their transportation so they can see our solutions because we are going to exhibit a solution around transportation, the transportation area. Uh, the uh, hospitality uh, customers, uh, they, you know, because they can see the, how the camera can help them in their, you know, uh, either being retail or hotels or malls or whatever, they can see how the camera can help them maybe to promote different solutions and you know uh, not only security wise but also to promote um, you know solutions uh, where the customers are working in 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 a mall then they can have targeted uh, uh, marketing and so on and so forth so so hospitality is something that we'd like to uh, to see uh, or to meet during the uh, uh, during the intersect uh, exhibition uh, of course you know from a, from a security perspective you know we would expect some security customer uh, to come and, and, and see this uh, because you know implementing safe city and smart city is is, is happening uh, around the uh, around the region now so for that you will need to have devices that can enable you to do you know uh, feature recognition and, 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 and analytics as well so for that you know probably they can come and see this uh, these solutions in our booth Certainly a lot to look forward to. All right, thank you. Well, you go, Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much.